Hey everybody, this is uh, Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. How are you guys doing today? Uh, today I've got a new series of videos that I'm going to put putting out over the next couple of weeks. Uh, it is based on my uh, blog article over at CoachParker.org of the uh, top 10 uh, best youth football plays uh, in youth football. And uh, that is a very uh, high traffic article. A lot of people read that. So I thought I'd turn that into a video series here of those top 10 plays, taking each play and kind of dissecting it, looking at some variations. And then also um, that same week or pretty close to when I, make, when I make the offensive video, I'll make a defensive video on the best defense to stop that top play uh, from a defensive perspective. And I think that'll go over pretty good. So uh, let me know what you guys think about that if you like to see more of that because uh, I know that uh, that would be kind of interesting. I've had some people ask me about different defenses and uh, the stop certain plays. So we'll take a look at that. So let's jump into the number 10 play on my list over there, which I had is the Power I 23 Power uh, lead. And uh, this is my variation of the Power I. I call it Pi. Uh, it's an overloaded line. Uh, and I move my. Uh, two halfbacks and uh, up onto the line about an arm's length apart. Um, almost kind of like sniffers up there because in my league, uh, those two backs usually aren't that quick. And it just helps get them to the point of attack quicker. I definitely got my tailback back there, quarterback and everything set up there. And so uh, what we're trying to do in the uh, 23 power, and it could be a 25 power depending on how the defense is set up, and uh, we're going left on this. Of course, it could be a right 24 or 26 uh, based on if I'm going to the right. But I like to, to run it this way for the, well, I've drawn it up in the left here. And you, you've got the uh, a BB block, which is a butt-to-butt -butt block with the tackle and the night guard there. They're going to split block there and open up. And then the two lead blockers are going to go after uh, the two linebackers there in the 5-3. And you see, you can see the 5-3 is kind of overshifted a little bit to the overloaded line. And I got a big old gap right there. And that's where I like to run my power eye stuff is to find that gap. And my backs, sniffer backs in line know what to look for there. And they'll adjust that. So if I've called the three hole in there in a pie and some guy shifts right into that gap, they'll shift it out until the open gap. And so you'll see that happen on one of these next uh, game footage plays. But that's uh, the pie left 23 power there. And that's a great short yardage play for three yards uh, and, you know, more sometimes. I like to call it uh, when I need the short yardage. And even it's a good first down play because a lot of teams might think you, you're going to run outside on a, on a long play and you bust it right up the middle. Another reason this is good, especially in rec, is that the two or three interior guys in rec football and defense are usually minimum play players. And so you can find that with this pie formation, power eye, and just start running over those guys uh, and easily blocking those guys. So this is why it's uh, one of my top ten plays. Plus, I, I we ran power eye in my high school back in the 78 to 82, so... I was a uh, fullback in that, also ran it in junior high, so uh, was the fullback in that too. So uh, it's uh, close to my heart as a formation, and like I said, this is my variation of it, just to help my uh, blocking backs get to the hole quicker and get out of the way of the tailback. And so uh, there's that play, and that was number 10 on my list. So let's take a look at some video here. This is uh, definitely the pie formation. I think it's about uh, three or four yards to a touchdown here. This is a junior team, so these are, uh, let's see, 9, 10, and 11s in that particular division. And I think I called a 23 here. The defensive kind of shifted a little bit or did something, and they ran it a little bit wider. But here you go. You can kind of see it here. There it is. Here he goes. He's going to go right down the pike. I think, yeah, he just, they just it outside. He runs a little bit further outside and he gets the touchdown there. And so that's, that's how that goes. 
Uh, another formation out of that is the fat left 23 power lead. Now this is a variation of my pie formation, and it's basically the same play, but if you're running a lot out of shotgun, uh, and sometimes I don't, if I run shotgun, I normally don't like to do a lot under center. If I'm running under, if I'm running under center, I won't do a lot of shotgun, or I'll have two different centers because that really kind of screws up rec centers, and so it's just the thing that I do. But uh, you guys can do how you want to do it. But this is my, this is really my pie formation, just in uh, a shotgun type of formation set here. And you can see the quarterback just move over to a blocking back next to the tailback. You still got the two sniffer backs. You're gaining that one extra blocker, and basically uh, you've got that here. And I think if we go back to the video, you can see the variation on this. Uh, so let's get, uh, so we'll see him run that play again in the pie, and then you can see him uh, run. So this is, uh, this is the fat formation. You can see they lined up here. You can see my guys. You see how these guys are just totally split. They gave us huge gaps here, and so uh, my offense, I usually tell the linemen if they can to gap that up to give us some more room they have. So uh, uh, so you've got that there. There's the two sniffer backs. There's a blocking back that's in for my quarterback, and uh, uh, there's the tailback there, and you can see how this is going to go. So this is just a variation on pie. And uh, this is my shotgun fat formation, uh, which I'll change up every now and then. Let me see if I can get this running now. So here you go. You can see he cuts right up the middle. There's that extra block, which then he bumps out to the outside. And we call that running the ladder. And he definitely hit that inside hole and then bumped out to the wide and, and got himself on the ladder. So that's the fat left 23 power lift. Actually, that was a 24. So it just ran, we ran it to the right side. Uh, and you can see it's just, it's almost the same thing. It's a little bit different variation, but basically the same play if you're running a shotgun versus under center. So a lot of you spread guys might be running shotgun and you've got your three and four back just totally wide out or in slots and maybe you've got splits. This is a great little formation to bring those two uh, wing back slots guys in keep you can keep your splits if you're any even and uh, do a quick power run right up the middle uh, so uh, that works too um, so there's a little variation to that too but uh, like I said this this plays good for uh, three yards or more and you can see uh, they scored a pretty long touchdown on that so let's see what the next play is and so this is you know if this is a 6-2 versus the pie when the 23 over there was a 5-3. So the 6-2 is kind of overshifted here a little bit uh, for the overload. And you can see how that, that hole is blocked up in the 23. And so they would, the 3 and 4 back would move outside and the 2 back would know. You see that uh, open gap here. Uh, they're going to try to hit that hole there where there's no down lineman sitting in this gap between the two tackles and so that's that's where that got adjusted from a three hole to a five hole or that would get adjusted from a four hole to a six hole and really when you call this play uh the back really needs it's almost like an inside kind of zone read thing they're 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 the back's got to read three or five and how that that opens up there he just can't totally run there because that's what will happen uh, there he'll have to kind of read that so let's go back and that last team uh, the blue team and we can just watch these over until we get to this so like I said this is a junior team running the pie 23 uh, play they're gonna run this again there it is for a quick touchdown boom he's in you can see the guys on the linebackers this is the variation this is uh, a fat 24 which is basically a pie 24 out of a shotgun give you that extra blocking back and then, and, th and that was, this is a eight to nine year old team, Bantam team. So you got a junior nine, 10, 11 team, uh, nine, 10, yeah, nine, 10, 11 team. And then the, this next group, now this is a senior team, which is like 11, 12, and 13 year olds, not in seventh grade yet. 
Uh, this is the top team in the league that was undefeated. Uh, uh, we did wind up beating them in the Super Bowl, but I think they actually beat us in this game. But I've got a true tail back in. I've got two blocking backs here. And uh, he's going to run this in the 23 hole here, or the 24. And so you can see he gets about a nice five or six yards on this. And uh, he blasts right down the middle on this. I'll take that because that is a really nice run on that power play. And so you can see that. So you can see that's... that's uh, that is uh, three different age groups running the, the, the variation of a similar play here, which is a power eye, uh, gun, uh, under center, or a power eye kind of in a gun formation, uh, 23, 25, 24, 26, inside dive, power lead dive play. That's my number 10 uh, on uh, my list here for uh, plays for youth football. I really like the power, keeps the ball on the ground. It's a safe way to go about it. Uh, if you've got the shotgun, definitely use the shotgun because you got the extra blocker. If you don't have the shotgun and you've got a quarterback, you can go under center with pie and hand the ball off, which is a lot safer. I see too many coaches trying to shotgun, and two out of ten snaps, they're going over their head or they're fumbling, so that just gives the ball to the defense all the time. So be aware of that. Again, the inside uh, guys, especially in rec football, are usually weak. So these plays will just run over those people. And just by the sheer formation, and you can, you know, I go overload. You definitely can go an even line if you want. But just you're putting so many people at the point of attack in youth football. Uh, it's really easy to run over a lot of people and just overpower the point of attack, especially a lot of times. Youth football, or even in select, if you're running this play toward your sideline, uh, they might not see the exact hole and adjust to that well, and so you can get your three yards. So if you're really looking for, you know, a ground and pound, three yards, short yardage play, even pulling this out of the spread into the fat, uh, you can do that very easily. Um, so uh, I highly recommend this play for short yardage. It's been a go-to for us uh, for quite a bit. So uh, totally, uh, totally dig this play. So hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let's go back and watch the video again of the uh, plays because that's always fun. And then we'll sign off here in a minute. So again, this is my variation of the Power Eye. 23, he just had to, they adjusted to the 25 there because defense adjusted, and they ran in. He ran in right behind that lead sniffer. This is the fat, which is my gun variation of the, the pie, and uh, he hits the middle then breaks out outside to the ladder uh, for a touchdown there, and that was a 24. And this is a pie 24. You can see them tell them there's the open gap. They have just opened it up, and uh, this is a senior team. And he gets big yardage for a short yardage play, and I'll take that every time. So uh, nice job there. You can see three different uh, age divisions this play works for. And, and uh, you know, young kids uh, at uh, 7, 8, and then you got 9, 10, and 11, and then you had the 11, 12, and 13 uh, under 7th grade division there, and this play worked for all of those. So... Uh, Nobody can say this will only work at the young divisions. It works at all. And really that last run that you saw there against that orange team, uh, even though KY is a rec, uh, rec league, in the spring a lot of uh, coaches will come over from select in the spring and bring a lot of their guys and draft a lot of guys. And I kind of hide those in the draft. And that's what that Bears group did. That was that was a really big stack team there. And uh, so that play even would get uh, – seven to eight yards on that team, as you can see. Hey, uh, once again, this is Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. Uh, and that was the Power I 23 in my version of it with the pie and the fat. And those plays are actually in my Power Wing Beast offense, which is definitely more the beast because that's some Power I stuff in my variation of it, the pie. Uh, so if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give me the other thumb, I guess. Uh, please leave a comment uh, for what other plays that you might like or how you would handle this play or any new plays you'd like to see. Hey, you can really help the channel out 
just subscribe to my channel. That's a big help. Uh, share the video with your players and other coaches if you like. Uh, you can shop my store. Uh, it has a link to uh, some stores that uh, of all the products that I use kind of in my practices and coaches bag. Or you can buy my two play playbooks over at CoachParker.org, the Power Wing Beast Offense, or the 6-2 Multi-8 Youth Football Defense. Uh, once again, uh, this is uh, Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to play for fun, and winning is funner. Ciao. See you guys next time.